witches. They really are witches, though. Wicked witches. So you, when you look up, in the, uh, you read the Bible, when it speaks of witchcraft, when you look it up, you know the Bible was originally written in Greek, right? The New Testament is in Greek. You look that word witchcraft up in Greek, it says pharmacia. Does that sound like a familiar word? Pharmaceutical. That's, that's drugs. So uh, somebody involved in witchcraft is somebody selling drugs. And it goes to all like the drugstores, CVS, you know, uh, Kroger, Walmart, they, they're all drug dealers. So they're all witches. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when you fear coming. When you fear cometh as a desolation, your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. Remember the Lord said he's going to laugh at you. So you mock when you fear coming. So you don't want to be caught up in that. Those are the ones that put the wisdom aside and said, I'm going to do this, I'll do that tomorrow. I'm going to do my own thing. That's all he had to do. Right. Like the Lord's with me, I don't need to be out there with them crazy motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to do all that. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. And that's how they always do it. Like, the, like these, these women, they do. He's like, you stay, see these step women outside. out here, they all... A punk ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> a, a punk ain't gonna do nothing. All he had to do is step outside. It's 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 stay still, y'all black people. A motherfucker ain't gonna do nothing. A motherfucker's sister. Did he step outside? That's all we had to do, step outside. Uh, that's a spirit. That is a spirit. Motherfucker with that white girl. That's all we had to do. At the moment you see God, at the moment you see God, this is a spirit. Like, you see God. That's all we had to do. That's a spirit. That's a spirit. What's wrong, black people? Give me, man. You're good, my 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 man. You're so everything that's going on is a spiritual thing going on, man. Yep. Everything that's going on is spiritual. Everything that's going on is you, spiritual. You gotta examine the world with spiritual eyes. Right. Don't see the world as the world sees. You gotta have the right with spiritual eyes, man. Because it's an evil, wicked world, man. The world is full of evil. And Christian is evil. Christian. Christian. Uh -huh. See, that is a devil. The bald headed woman. That's a, that's a devil. Never ever yeah. be forgotten. That's a devil. You know what I'm saying? Sure. That's a devil. Hey, but she is white, though. Yeah, we could be the devil. Though. We could be out here deceiving. He's right, yeah. We could be out here being deceiving. You hear me? We can be out here just being deceiving. But the group out here that's being deceiving. She suffered from Isaiah the third chapter. It's the one in the purple and the ones in the red. Those are the ones that's out here being deceiving. That's Isaiah the third. You know? They're under what you call a 501c3. You know, which under a 501c3 tax charter, which they sign with the government to pay them and provide for them, like, they don't have to pay here. taxes. Like, so not have, have to pay taxes, they're under rules, they're under regulations of the devil, of the so-called white man, the government, who they can't under a 501c3, they can't teach you that homosexuality is wicked. They can't teach you being a faggot is evil. You know what I mean? They can't teach you the unruly woman is evil. Right, right, exactly. You know? They tell you to keep your mouth shut when it comes to certain things, you know? For example, like what's going on in the hood. All kind of wickedness and madness going on in the hood. Yeah, but under the 501c3 tax charter that these niggas is under, the ones in the purple, the ones in the red, and these churches, they can't tell you the whole truth. So why the hell are you going to go look for spiritual guidance from people that's being controlled? It don't no, make no damn question. sense. No, no question. What's it considered as an unruly woman? One that, 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 that opens you just her saw? mouth. That lady right and she here. got a husband at home, and she out here arguing with grown men. Yeah. Arguing. If this was an ancient world, she would have been put to death. If this was the ancient world. But the funny thing is, like the book of Jeremiah says, speaks the old ways. Those old ways coming back. Coming you back. know, those old ways coming back when these wicked, evil people are gonna be put to death. So and that's the thus saith the Lord. Lord. I got scripture right here. It's, it's in the New Testament too. First Timothy two and eleven. Let the woman learn in silence with all suggestion. But I suffer not a woman to teach. Yeah, she was trying to teach her. That lady was yelling at us. We didn't do nothing to her. Where's her camp But at? if you go a little bit further, it says that was Paul and that was his first speaking. It wasn't given by God. It says as a law. It says all scripture was given by the inspiration of God. But according to... 
<laughs> so, so you gonna say the woman should be the teacher? That's right. Some more. My, yeah, you Deborah, huh? You Deborah in the reincarnation? It says, but I suffer not a woman to teach nor to observe authority over the man, but to be silent. If Adam was first born, then Eve. That's what Adam was first born, then Eve. Then Eve. People. Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. The man wasn't deceived in food, mm -hmm. so the woman was. Like it says, was it? Yeah, so who was all the 12 disciples? Was going Which one was the woman? Which one was the woman? Now, we're not saying women can't be believers. What about the other 80 70, yeah, the seven, the other Which seven. one of them was men? Those were all men. Right. So the woman does have a place, and her place is to take care of her husband. That, ain't, that, don't, mean, that don't mean you're putting the yeah, woman down. Yeah, we're not down. putting you down. It's okay. a beautiful position yeah, to be a, a woman. Okay. Okay. You know? Go ahead. First Corinthians 14 and uh, 34. Oh, that's your, the key. Let's read to 35. Let your woman keep silence in the church. Uh, 15, 15. Uh, let your woman keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted to them to speak. But they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. And since y'all are so funny discipline, it says to be under obedience. That means sit back and learn. Okay? Like sit back and learn. Like the scripture speaks about how Sarah was a righteous woman, and she called Abraham Lord, being in the subjection to her husband. Right. And that was a beautiful thing, you know what I mean? Because she, she was holding it down. You know what I'm saying? So, being undisciplined, the Lord stricken you a certain way. Stricken you a lot of you women with, uh, Baldness of the head. I got bald headed. Bald headed. What about those that suffer from cancer? And how about that? That's a curse too. Those, they still bald headed even if they did have didn't have cancer. Cancer itself is a curse. Bald either Lord. way it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Bald either way it goes. There's no generation to it. There's no rights to it. It's whether male or female. What's that? Exactly. I know men the, the and women. Men are We all curse. Man and woman cancer. alike. All the I know. I've worked with men that had uh, 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 yeast infections. I'd go my girl. You know what I mean? Back to 35. Uh, and if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame for women to speak in the church. Right. What came the word of God out from you, or came it unto you? Oh, and really, we in church right now, because the word church in the Greek is ecclesia, which means to call out, so calling out. We calling out all, all of our people out so here. So we in church right now. So we in church right now. I got one more verse. Because the word, it means a gathering of people, is what the word church really means. It says, if any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you, Paul, are the commandments of the Lord. That's all the commandments of the Lord. Just remember this one thing. In the Spirit of God, there is no Jew nor Greek. No. What, what does that mean, though? There is no race. There is no protection. There is no male nor female. It's all one under God. Listen, listen, you look of course. Hold on. Let me finish my statement. Let me finish my statement. I ain't going to check. So, however, I have a seven-year-old kid. Have a, have a 12 year old son. Of course, I'm going to teach my son. I can't teach him about being a man, but I can teach him what the word of God says. Be holy, because I am holy. Follow the Ten Commandments. Don't steal. Don't commit fornication, no adultery. If you look at the woman, you're going to hell. Like, feel tired. Going to hell? You mean, you're already sending people. You're already sending people. <laughs> is that so you can't sit up there you can't do what the world does you can't go out smoke drink cuss you can't do that if you're going to live a whole life you got to be holy before you like period there is no scouting the thing i can't tell my son to date a woman that's in church and i'm out here doing everything but being a child of god you one man is trying to master he's going to love one and hate the other so y'all error. Bye-bye. Gotta go back to work. Adios. I just said a bunch of nothing. I didn't understand what you said. said. You ain't learned nothing. You were edified with nothing. <laughs> got no scriptures. Right. <laughs> Nothing at all. Yeah. And then she took off after she said it. Right. We even let her spill that, puke that, vomit all up. She got vomit all over the signs. Right, right, right. She said that was his opinion, but it, he just said that if Again, if any man oh, hold up. himself to be a prophet or spiritual, she, she's pretty much saying Paul's writings is not scripture. Yeah, so I said, what he say? Let him acknowledge that the things that are right unto you are the commandments of the Lord. And he said it was the commandments of the Lord. Because Paul got the gospel straight from the Lord himself. Because a lot of brothers learn the gospel from other brothers' teachings. <laughs> Well, Paul got a vision from the Lord. Like all the old story got knocked off the horse and blinded for three days, right? 
the Lord himself came to Paul and gave him the gospel. So you ain't gonna sit here and tell me that Paul's writings don't count. That's it. Paul's writings is half the New Testament. Over half the New Testament. If there wasn't Paul, there won't even be no church. You know what I'm saying? He's the one, he's the one who he, he was the greatest apostle of them all. He wasn't the head apostle. The head apostle was Peter. But Paul was the greatest of them all. That's a fact, Jack. Let me read this Job 39 and 16. She is hard against her young ones. She was mentioning her son. She was teaching her son to be righteous. She a child of hell, a child of, you know, a, a child of Satan. So what's she teaching her son, man? To be worse than her. As though they were not hers, her labor is in vain without fear. Because the Most High hath deprived her of wisdom. She got no wisdom. <laughs> Neither hath he imparted to her understanding. So it went in out one ear and out the other. It went in one ear and out the other. She's all it's eating, got food, food and man. shit oh, from spitting at it. All right. snaggle tooth demons, bro. She looked like some of my one of them. Look like, look like one of them aliens off that movie, The Alien. That little alien popped out the belly like. Me, 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 me. No, they lost last okay, night. They lost three to one. You need to bless him with yourself and two with your husbands as it is fit for the Lord. Yeah, why is it supposed to be? Righteous men is God, you correctly, you know, as a spirit, he's going to tell you. Chicks and fish, paired with vegetables, you know, that's correct. The word submit, it got that prefix sub, it means you're supposed to be under. The woman, the woman is under the man. What a submarine. See, that's how they got it. all y'all slavery out here. They sit and they give you this lie. They feed you this lie. They say women are equal to men. That's the biggest bullshit I've done heard of all my day. And like we were saying earlier, if women was equal to men, why don't they let a woman play halfback in the NFL? Play, why, why don't they get a woman quarterback? She, she gets smashed, bro. The first play, she gets sacked and her neck broke, her legs broke, ribs crushed, vertebrae cracked. One play, she's out of there. And, and that's just common sense. So a lot of y'all don't have common sense. Y'all got no sense at all. You know what I'm saying? Because I, that's why the, the man is supposed to be above the woman. And that's a good thing. You, I, it's a, a good thing for a man to be running his own shit. You know what I mean? They would have laughed at you back in the ancient world. You had a, a woman bossing you around. Totally disregard the orders, man. That's just crazy as hell, bro. Totally disregard the orders, man. And yet, and, and if a sister believes in the truth, and then she's one of us, but she still has to follow the orders. So no orders. I was there the whole time she got that big Yeah, wife Smith. Like he's not bitter against them. He's not bitter. She, that, she's being all, uh... Yeah, he, he about to go hurt some sheep, bro. Looks like he hurt an actual sheep. He took this with his foot. He got a shepherd. He got a German shepherd. He's going out to teach him a German shepherd. What's up, bro? Man, stays, man. So when you see the Lord and you come in the sky, it's going to be a black man. It's not gonna be this devil right here, you know? And them chariots gonna come out of the sky, they're gonna crack the ceiling. We're gonna put this one in chains, this man. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's on earth right now. Yeah, he's this man came back in reincarnation. His name yeah, is David man. D. Rothschild. That's right. Yeah. Rothschild. So we're gonna put chains on that devil. And all that's, that, that's, that's prophecy. All that gold, the silver they got up in the banks, that's all ours. Okay, they stole us to begin with. The women. Gold, all the jewels. Yeah, we getting that women too. Everything owned belongs to the Israelite like man. Yep. That's our possessions. The world was created for us, not for them. Yeah, so what are these women going to do when we in the kingdom and women getting treated like cattle? We selling heathen women like they cattle, bro. We got them on the market. You know? yeah, they're going to be out here marching, protesting. They're they going to be protesting? Shit, bro, we're going to roll their ass over the steamroller. Hit them with a uh, Camille Mail. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hit them from uh, we're gonna be on we're gonna be on another planet. We're gonna hit them with a command command. 
We're gonna get vapor rods. Oh, we hit him with a Kali Hobby Hobby? Right. Oh, right. Man, oh, I forgot how it goes. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do some shell like Dragon Ball, bro. Yeah. They're gonna know we gods, though, in the kingdom. In this world, you, are, you know how Amalek say they gods, they the chosen nation. And in, in, in their world, who their gods, the so called gods, and they got, pe they got people out here calling them the devil. You know, what kind of power is that, man? The earth was given into the hands of the wicked. Right? Let me get this. So what right. kind of power they got in their kingdom? They got people who are calling them the fucking devil. You know, like we were talking about when we come up here, the, uh, the brothers of England. That's where the motherfucking king and queen is. And they can't on and their front porch. <laughs> well, they claim to be a Christian nation. So hey, man. The tribe of Judah too. <laughs> the Most High set it up so you can't do nothing about it. Yeah, you gonna tell me she from the tribe of Judah? It is. But they'll be like, is he such a God-fearing woman? She goes to church every Sunday. That's some funny shit, though. Yeah. That's some funny ass shit. Yeah, because you, know you know the queen, what well, the king in England, how you going to have a queen, bro? Prince Philip. Prince Philip. Yeah, Prince Philip. He wants to come back as a disease. Cause the king in England is supposed to be the head of the church in England. You know that, right? <laughs> So she like the, so the Queen of England is like the, the English equivalent of the Pope. You know what I'm saying? Let me get to Psalms 110. Psalms 110 and 1. The Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Right? Because when the Lord returns, all his enemies is going to be put underneath his feet. Because the Lord... With, under, uh, with the nation of Israel, we're going to rule all nations with a rod of iron. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion, rule thou in the midst of thy enemies. And we're going to be ruling over our enemies very soon. Right now, we in a low state, but soon the Lord is going to magnify us. Thy people shall be willing in the day thy power. In the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning, thou has to do with our youth. Right? Because uh, cause a lot of our people, they're not going to be willing until they see us get that power. And then when we get in that power seat and we become the rulers, then all these women, they're going to get in order. And they're going to hear a peep from them on that day. They ain't going to be nobody running their mouths. Like, y'all ain't men of God. Y'all evil motherfuckers. No, there ain't going to be none of that. They're going to be silent and they're going to be subordinate. That's what they're going to be. The Lord has sworn and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Mount Chesedek. I mean, that's pretty much the point right there. Actually, I should keep going. To go to Mount Chesedek, yeah, take a minute. The Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. Woo! So in the king, yeah, when the Lord returns, all these kings of the earth, they go, they gonna be, th they gonna be destroyed. They gonna be put in slavery, put in chains. That's right. Bro. The Lord, yeah, the Lord gonna break all these heathens into pieces, bro. Ain't gonna be no America in the kingdom of heaven, okay? Cause y'all know America is the kingdom of Satan. In, in the kingdom of heaven, ain't gonna be no America. It's gonna be the kingdom of heaven, and that's it. All this bullshit is going to be destroyed. That's why it's called the kingdom of heaven. That's that new song. Right. He shall judge among the heathen. He shall fill the places with the dead bodies. He shall wound the heads over many countries. That's what the Lord's going to do when, when he returns. There's going to be a lot of dead bodies when the Lord returns. Okay? And the birds, they're going to eat real good on that day. He shall drink uh, He shall drink of the brook in the way, therefore shall he lift up the head. When the, who's the head? The head shall have a shot. None of him is King David in the nation of Israel. That's why the Lord is known as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Because we a nation of king and priests. I wish I going to get yeah, we joint heirs, right, exactly. We the Lord's inheritance. Jeremiah 51 and 20. Listen, thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations. Right, because like I said, the Lord going to give us power. And the Lord is going to use us 
to bring down these heathen nations and to put all these heathens in chains, to put the rulers of this earth in chains so righteousness can flourish on the earth again. It ain't no righteousness is not flourishing on the earth right now. Wickedness is flourishing on the earth. Okay? In the Lord, like, read that again, bro. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war, for with thee will I break in pieces the nations. So the Lord said to us, the Israelites, we are the Lord's battle axe. What do you do with a battle axe? You chop off heads with a battle axe. When the Lord gives us power, we're going to be chopping off heads. That's what's going to happen. Hey, give me, what's that song? Like you wash the feet the blood of the wicked. And with thee will I destroy kingdoms. And with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider. That was reading that. That just bring to mind that part of the first hall. Oh, yeah. That tank. Yeah, we're going to be throwing tanks. And then we went to the other tank and tore that bitch off, the top of it off, and was beating the other tank with it. So y'all going to be terrified in the day of the Lord. If you ain't right with the Most High, y'all got some some evil days coming to you. <laughs> evil days. The evil days are, are, are near. The evil day. Eve, which give reference to time, and ill, which give reference to pain and suffering and wickedness. <laughs> Bad times is the, is, is the future, you know? Yep. Evil times. Evil times. Yeah, we prophesying evil times. Right. Man, they have no clue. They think it's hard. They think getting some handcuffs thrown in the back of a fucking paddy wagon and hauled off to the jail is bad times. That's man. easy. That's nothing compared to what's coming. Right. These people are going to be seeking death. They're going to be seeking they gonna death. They're going to be taking their own life. Right. But the Lord ain't going to give it to them. Bro. Yep. He ain't going to give it to them. They're going to have to suffer through this one. Okay, I got more. And with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider, and with thee will I break in pieces the cherry and his rider. With thee, he keeps saying with thee, with thee also will I break in pieces man and woman. And with thee will I break in pieces old and young. Yeah, because with the Lord there's no respect of persons. An evildoer is the evildoer, whether they be a man, whether they be a woman, a little child, a monster. Look, look, grandma, an old evil grandma. Right, right. If you're evil, you're evil. Bald head grandma. Right. And there's a whole lot of evil out here. That's all you see is evil. Go ahead. And with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock. All right, the shepherd and his flock, that's going into these, these false prophets. You know what I'm saying? These, these preachers who are taking advantage of people. And their followers. Rob, yeah, their followers. Robbing people, taking everyone's money. You know what I mean? Taking advantage of the widow. You got a lot of these old ladies, these widows in the church who mean well. And they get robbed by the preachers. You know what I'm saying? So you're retired. Yeah, they, they, the preacher done got all their retirement oh. money. That's evil, bro. He promised her a kingdom. He promised her uh, everlasting life. They mislead them words, man. They mislead them. The preacher promised these people milk and honey and shit, you know. And he, and he gave them uh, diarrhea. Gave them, right, gave them filth. Gave them filth. Gave them, gave hey, them mold. Hey, 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 stay, you got the honey, you got some high fructose corn syrup. Right. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they do that in the store. You go to the store, you think you're getting honey, bro. That ain't honey. honey That's honey. some corn syrup. What does it say? 100% juice. Yeah, 100% juice. From concentrated. They just don't tell you what kind of juice. From concentrated. It was juice from fucking Esau's nutsack. <laughs> <laughs> All that food is fucking bullshit in the stores, man. Oh, they had the Some juice they had, the bunch was grape or something, they had the, it was the cover over some shack juice. You know what Shack juice they had, they had this cover and they were covering them over. Selling the old shack That's crazy. That's crazy. But just like Burger King, then they got caught selling uh, horse meat. They told y'all that was hamburger. What? What the hell is a hamburger? They were selling horse meat. Y'all been eating horse meat? When you go to McDonald's, you eating people. They put people in the hamburgers, and it, that's what everybody eat. They eating people, eating people, eating horses. They already eat pork willingly. How, how disgusting is that? You know what I mean? Epic, epic bus fail. What do you think these bodies is going that's coming up missing? They go to the slaughterhouse. Yep. They tell you that. The so-called you on the slaughterhouses. 
after they put a hit on somebody or they uh, abduct the children and sacrifice them to the Satan, they take the bodies, they throw them to the slaughterhouse and put it in your hamburger. Just think about that next time you having some Mickey D's. You know what I'm saying with your... He's like, I can't wait to get out of this motherfucker. Mind you, said McDonald's is one of their favorite albums. Yeah. He get on that bus quick. He ran on that motherfucker, man. He ran. He's like, oh, shit. He went straight to McDonald's. America can't be my motherfucking kingdom of Satan. That's what they say in their mind, their spirit, man. America gotta be a holy, God-fearing nation, man. Anyway, this is cat. In these motherfuckers' mind, this is the guy. It has to be a God fearing nation. It got to be. But the Lord gonna destroy this place right there. Um, oh, that's the spirit. Verse 24. And I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea all their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight, saith the Lord. So we we, we, we wet watchmen and witnesses unto all this wickedness these fools are doing, man. So we cry to the Lord. We cry in the name of Yahweh, what Yahweh shot. And he's hearing us. You know? That's all we can do right now. That's all we can do. We ain't no mic in our hands. We ain't got no mic. Uh, behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain, said the Lord. Hey, y'all see that interview? The Philippines president, what's yeah, his name? Yeah, he said that there's going to be a bloodbath or something. Uh, the, what, China? He's saying that uh, uh, he's making, he's going to, Strengthen his ties with Russia and China, and he's getting away from America. He's, he has no choice. Yeah, he's getting away from America. So he's, he's coming out in the interview saying that America just they destabilize countries. They send in their. He even said it, man. He said, "I gotta say this before I get assassinated by their CIA." Yeah. And the woman said, "You you believe you're gonna be assassinated? You're worried you're gonna be assassinated?" He said, "Yeah, it's a reality, ain't it? You do know America do that, right?" He was talking to her, yeah. and she all naive. They killed kill everybody. They can't do that. They killed Gaddafi. They he, killed... Was, he named examples. Yeah. Yeah. Like one of the ones he brought up was when America went into Panama. Remember that? Yeah, the That's Panama. a bad video, ain't it? Yeah, that... What's it called? The, uh, the Panama, Panama Deception. Deception. Yeah, yeah. They said they went in there with, uh, they had laser beam backpacks. The laser beam in the whole town. Remember the video? The car was cut in half? Yeah. Yeah. So it's... what the hell? Ain't no, ain't no tank missile gonna do that. A tank, tank missile destroyed the whole car. They said they was testing weapons on yep. the civilians. Yep, yep. And they went in there and, and uh, under the guise of uh, fighting against drugs, they went in there and took the president of, uh, the, of, of whatever it was, took him back to America. And he was talking about all that, man, how they put him on trial, locked him up under a lock. Under a lock. And he was saying that Americans, they, say, they speak in one way, but they mean another way. It's, you know, they double headed. The man was on fire. The spirit was on him on this video, man. The spirit was really working with him, man. Is that some Rastafarians? This nation is a nation of goddamn devils, man. A nation me, of goddamn devils. Let me get devils. this. Oh, okay. right. Psalms 52 and 1. Yes. Why boasted thou thyself in mischief, O mighty man? The goodness of the Most High endure continually. Thy tongue devises mischief like a sharp razor, working deceitfully. Thou lovest.